Hello everyone and welcome to the Basics of Adventure Craft tutorial series. This is Archia from the Crafters of Adventures podcast and in this series I hope to get everyone started with the Adventure Craft mod and hopefully answer a lot of the frequently asked questions that we get. In this video we will see how to download and install the Adventure Craft mod and learn the difference between the two installation options. So first off, we're going to open our web browser and go to adventure-craft.blogspot.com And this is the Adventure Craft blog. This is where you can learn about all of the updates that have been that have come out and learn what to expect from Adventure Craft. So we want to find a download link. Here's a download link. open this up and you want to extract this to somewhere as you can see I'm using WinRAR as my archiver program you might be using something different but you should still have an extract button so I will extract this to my desktop <coughs> now in here you'll see a lot of files and folders we have a maps folder we have minecraft folder and we have some other things. But for right now we want to run adventurecraft.exe or if you are on a Macintosh or Linux machine you want to run adventurecraft.jar. Now if you're on a Macintosh, if you're on Mac OS X, this may not work at all and I don't have any experience with Macintosh so I wouldn't be able to help you with that but it has something to do with these libraries right here not working and according to one person removing Safari helped them but of course if you do that make sure you have a backup browser to use anyway we're just going to run AdventureCraft right now as you can see it opens up to the blog page again now it might ask you to install flash because there are flash elements on here like band reds and such you can just say yes or no to that and you also see that we have two buttons here we have install and we have install via login so for right now we're just going to use install via login this is what you'll want to use most of the time and you just log into your minecraft account and hit login and it will download a fresh copy of Minecraft from the minecraft.net servers. If we wait a bit it'll say finished installing and now these two buttons disappear and we just have a start button. We click that and as you can see I'm running AdventureCraft we got version number there and of the map download so this has been installed correctly so click that and this is something that might come up in Vista it might also come up in Windows 7 it's not really a problem I'm not sure why it comes up but it does not get in the way of anything Now the other way to install is to just hit the install button. And what this does is it pulls the Minecraft files from your .minecraft folder. And to use this you need to make sure that you haven't modified your Minecraft and that it's the correct version for this version of AdventureCraft. Right now Minecraft is 1.7.3 and AdventureCraft is built for that and the reasons you would want to use this is say after Minecraft is updated to 
you won't be able to use install via login because it will download 1.8 and AdventureCraft may not be updated to 1.8 yet so you would want to use just normal install but as you can see if I click OK get the start button back and this will install it just fine as well so that is it for this video and I hope to see you next time when we look at how to download and play AdventureCraft maps. So until then.